let us continue over here and let's go and create our first API endpoint and before that we need to go and install our fast API dependency over here and to manage the dependency in our clean architecture we are going to follow our separation of concern and let's add the new file over here and let's call this one something like the we need to name this one as the requirements.txt right so make sure that the file name is correct which is of the requirements.txt over here and here we need to add the fast uh, api with the standard version and i'll just go and add the standard version over here with the standard version it comes with all of the required packages for our development right and we don't have to go and manually install like the uvcon and all of those stuff we are going to get it with the standard package of the fast api and once we have this particular or uh, the file which is of the requirements.txt we need to go and install the fast api dependency and that will be from the pip inst install dash r and then the requirements.txt over here and let's go and install all of those dependencies and now you can see that it has basically install all of the dependencies for us right and once the dependency has been successfully installed let's go and, go and add the our main.dpy file we can just go and create the uh, main.dpy file or we will be following the clean architecture so let's just go and add the app directory over here and inside of the app directory i'm going to move all of my the python file which is of the main.dpy file over here and let's from the fast api i need to import the fast api over here and let's create the app over here which will be of the fast api so let's go and initialize our fast api over here and that will be of the app you can obviously call the other name over here variable name but the the best practice or the default is always the app over here and using that particular app what i can do is let's go and create one of the default endpoint which will be of the get and that will be at the root and let's create one function that is to this is a python function dev read root or you can just call the read root or get root or something so let's say since this is a get method i'll just go and call this one as the get root over here which will be to get the root of our directory and from here you can just go and return any of the um let's say this will be status and the status of the success message right and let's just go and add the uh, message over here as well that will be of the welcome to the user management api over here so this will be the json response that we are going to return it from here status as well as the the message from here and now let's just try to go and run our server since we have our first api endpoint that's going to return a simple message over here and we have already created the fast api over here so this is to go and in slice our fast api over here and using the app that the get we are creating the get endpoint similarly you can use the app that the post patch delete and all of this stuff over here and you can obviously go and specify a lot of the other stuff that is you can see over here right but later we are going to see that one. now let's go over to our terminal and let's just try to run our server so to run the server i'll just go and say the fast api and then the uh, fast api div and now you can see it has created our server or started our server and it automatically found that we have the this particular main.dp file in the app right app directory over here which is a module actually now let's try to go and open up this one let me bring it over here and now you can see that this is the json response that we are actually getting which is a status and then the message from our root of our api endpoint right this is the get endpoint that we currently have and to check our docs so just go to the mm, documentation from here so the ocs docs over here and you can see that we got the nice looking uh, the open api doc over here and obviously you can just go and try it out and execute it from here and you can see that we got the status back 
and that's the pretty good so this is the basic of our the default endpoint as well as the de default doc that we have and also we have the another endpoint to read our docs or the alternative doc that we can call so let's just go and grab that one as well so that will be on the uh, read doc i guess so read the oc doc over here and you can see that we got the another alternative api and uh, the documentation over here which you can obviously go and use as well so here is the uh, success response and all of this stuff so you can just go and see what are the response sample right and but i prefer to use the the open api documentation over here which previously we called it as a swagger and it looks pretty good and it's easy to test as well over here so now we have our first api endpoint created with the fast api and we are we also have created the requirement that txt as well and to go and run i have added some documentation over here to install the dependency uh, you can obviously go and grab this one from the documentation as well so to run the app we will just go in okay so there is an alternative way manually running using the uh, uvcon as well we are going to see it on the later stage but for now we are going to use the fast api the data, which comes with the pre-built with the fast api but internally it's going to use the U uvcon as well but it's much easier to run this command in the development but if you want to go and manually run you can obviously go and use the uvcon which we will see on the later stage so i guess that's all and uh, we now have the requirement that txt where we will be adding all of our dependencies and where we will uh, where we will manage all, all of our dependencies right easy to manage and we'll make use of the app directory to manage all of our work on the python modules and creating the packages and all of the stuff over here so that's all over here